is the least confusing erection I've ever had. Hear that? Now this thing, you guys would have seen it originally in the Peninsula Motor Fest, and then of course it was released in, a, in Street Machine magazine, um, and it's an absolute monster. The pass over here built this whole thing in the, in the last nine years, is that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So let's have a bit of a closer look at what makes this thing so special. Simple trend that follows all the way from the boot, even underneath the car, through the inside, and obviously all the way through to the front. And it looks awesome. Like, what, what made you go for the dimple theme all the way around? There was a Torino that was done in the US, um, and he, he created that aviation style look. And I think it won Top Car in the US a few years ago. And it looked awesome. Like, it, it hasn't been done before here. Yeah. So I thought, man, it's an awesome thing. And to give it that aviation rocket ship style look. Yeah, a bit of old school and also try to modernize it, right? Yeah, Where that's it looks right. like a Pro Tour, um, just a badass killer car, really. <laughs> that's what, that was the aim, to make it look as badass as possible. And badass it is. Yeah. Yeah. things about this whole car is the interior which is unlike anything I've ever seen in XP Falcon. What made you go for the, the AMG style? A mate of mine had an AMG and every time we used to jump in there they go man this interior looks crazy. But they are aren't they? The new the new yeah, Mercedes. They awesome. They're so awesome. nice. And I thought why don't we try throwing this in the hard top? So it was a gamble but as soon as we threw it in there it looked absolutely killer. Cleveland heads and the eight stack here by hardware in 